Hello, I'm Brandi Agerbeck of Loosetooth.com, and today I announce my book. <laughs> That's me. I wrote this book. It's very exciting. <laughs> it's called The Graphic Facilitator's Guide, How to Use Your Listening, Thinking, and Drawing Skills to Make Meaning. So graphic facilitation, which I hope you've seen my other videos and know what the heck I'm talking about, it's that specific role within a meeting where you are listening to the conversation looking at the connections, processing it, figuring out how to organize that conversation, and then putting it up on a giant sheet of paper to help facilitate a group. Help that group do great work because you're there in service to them using your listening, thinking, and drawing skills. Uh, so the book is based around three powers and 25 principles. The powers, I believe, are present anytime there's a graphic facilitator in the room, and I think of them as a set of lenses. So like a microscope, they help you focus and see things you couldn't normally see. And like a telescope, those lenses help give you a broader, bigger picture, a broader context. Um, the powers of graphic facilitation are the power of being listened to, the power of shared understanding, and the power of seeing and touching your work. So if you go to graphicfacilitator.com, you can read the sample chapter where I describe those powers. The rest of the book is built around 25 principles. Now here's the deal. Graphic facilitation is entirely client process situation dependent. I can't tell you exactly what to do. So to that end, what I did was I created a set of 25 guiding principles. So what I did, I envisioned those as a, as a star map, as sort of like a map of constellations. Um, I'm trying to show you where it is right over here. So the book is based around these 25 principles. Um, and each principle has its own section in the book. So you can very, very, very clearly see each one and how they, how they all connect together. There are six sections. The first section are the overview principles. They're sort of like your biggest, brightest, you know, North Star kind of stars. The second section is around your listening skills, your input. Uh, the third section is around your thinking skills and how do you make those connections and synthesize information? How do you see patterns and make connections? Um, the fourth section is around the drawing, which is the output. Um, the fifth section is around practice and how do you strengthen your skills. And lastly, the sixth section is about in the room. What are the dynamics between you and the folks you're working with? So again, 25 principles to help guide you through the work of graphic facilitation. So I hope you'll check out the book, The Graphic Facilitator's Guide, and see what I have to say about this work. I do think um, I worked hard to really break down the complexity and the intensity of this role into really digestible little pieces. Um, I'm not knocking any workshops, but I really do think you can learn a ton. Like this is like a gajillion dollar workshop and a $30 book. <laughs> that's, as, that's as salesy as I can get. Um, so <laughs> but I do hope uh, you'll check out the Graphic Facilitator's Guide. Yes, it does focus specifically on the role of graphic facilitation. Some of the best feedback I've been getting in my writing process is how much people are seeing the applicability outside of that specific role. So if you're a teacher, if you're a student, if you're a leader, if you're a manager, um, if you're a designer, I feel if you're a lifelong learner, if you're just a you know visual hands-on person, please check out the Graphic Facilitator's Guide. Even if you do not want to be a graphic facilitator when you grow up, there's a lot of good, a lot of good stuff in here. So again, please check out graphicfacilitator.com. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so it is currently March 30th. And for this weekend, I am having a virtual launch party. So if you're interested in ordering, pre-ordering signed copies for me, you're welcome to. If you don't care about signed copies, uh, no problem. Um, they will be, the, this book will be available on Amazon.com shortly. So, um, but I do hope this weekend you will, the last weekend in March and the beginning of April, that you will uh, raise a glass and uh, celebrate with me in my virtual book launch and that you will check out the Graphic Facilitator's Guide. <laughs> so thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.